again, uh, that's her. Anyway, the nun such, which is another one of our potential targets, um, there are two major deposits. This one at White Pine produced about four, four billion pounds of copper. A, a very major uh, deposit. It's very similar to, uh, and a copper wood a feasibility is 30 million times of this grade. I can say it's only a portion of the of the deposits been permitted. It's probably probably about three times, at least three times as large as that. And uh, these are very similar to these two deposits which are world famous, the Central African Copper Belt and the Cooper Schiefer, both of which are still in production. <coughs> we have about 6,400 acres leased in two areas where we've uh, uh, determined um, that, that there was soil anomalies. Um, in other words, copper in the soil um, back from the early 80s when I worked on that project. Uh, I was actually working on the ropes mine back at that time. And so we've, we, have do, uh, we have done some drilling there, but it's, uh, it's an ongoing project. So as a summer, we drilled about 29,000 meters of, of core, 183 holes. Um, some of them are historic holes, twin. In other words, you can't use old data unless you demonstrate that you can prove that it's good data. And so what you do is you set up right next to the, the uh, historic hole and you drill right parallel to it and then you compare the results you get. Fortunately, we have uh, Bill Hodges, who was our surveyor back in the 70s allowed us to get back to the same spot. Once you pull out the casing, you can't, you've got to survey the spot back. Uh, we had hoped that there would be a, a global estimate, in other words, an estimate of what total amount of copper is in the deposit by June of 2013. We still don't have that, that estimate. Uh, we're having an independent consulting firm do that, and now you won't go into it. I can't go into why that's happening, but um, <clears throat> we've also done geologic mapping, additional soil sampling, uh, induction potential uh, geophysics, and ground magnetic surveys. Um, our cost per meter is about $125. From that's correct cost, uh, double that for total project costs. So basically, you're talking about I don't know, $75 Per foot. And I've got a foot of core here if you want to see what that looks like. <laughs> and G2, um, 37 holes completed. Um, we're anticipating a PEA, which is a preliminary, preliminary economic assessment. Um, and we have to get the um, we have to get the global resource done before we can get the feasibility, and then then go to full feasibility by October 26th of 2015, that's. <clears throat> Plans are to continue drilling at G2, continue exploration at, at, uh, at uh, the, the such targets, and to continue exploration throughout the Cayman region.